Hey, in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at this new button that was added in Maya 2023, uh, this uh, Boolean button. So honestly, uh, I haven't uh, used it yet, so I just wanna check it out and maybe do a quick video on what I'm experiencing. So I'm gonna grab a box, just drag a box on my grid here, and I'm gonna press Control D and make maybe make another one, go to mesh, let's do a smooth, and I'm okay with this being level two. Maybe let's size this up a little bit. So now we have two uh, meshes. We have the box and the sphere. So I'm gonna turn on my um, wireframe here so I could see my topology and, and uh, we can keep track of how the Booleans are uh, working and subtracting as far as keeping the geometry clean. So now I'm gonna select the first mesh and Shift select the second one, and I'm gonna click on this new button here. As soon as I do, you can see uh, this menu came up in the attribute editor, which is really cool. It looks like in real time, we can now control the position of the Booleans. I think that's uh, pretty awesome. So let's uh, maybe do something different. So maybe something like this and once I'm happy with this, and I can even see how the topology is going to look like once it's done. So now I'm just gonna select uh, this guy here and uh, just click on my, delete my history. And if you don't see that, that's under edit, delete by type history. So you can see uh, this is the result. It looks really cool and clean. And if this was a game model, of course, we can't have faces that are not quads. So let's go ahead and keep this selected and go to uh, mesh and let's do uh, read topologize so i'm going to go to options and i'm going to make sure that preserve hard edges is clicked because i want to preserve the shape the initial shape of um, of the box and the target face count i'm going to leave it at really low at 100 right now it's at like 22 I think 100 makes sense. Maybe we can even go lower, like 90. And let's go ahead and click Apply. And you can see Maya uh, beautifully uh, retopologized our um, faces to make sure everything is quad. And it kept it at 98, which is really good. Only 196 uh, tries. So this is a really clean, low poly uh, result and beautiful uh, Boolean operation. So I'm very happy with this and I think I'm going to begin to incorporate this into my uh, workflow as I start to create more, uh, you know, more assets in the future. So I wanted to show you that and thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.